say how to create arrays in uh, big microcontrollers so there are two ways of doing that one of them is using what we call it a lookup table you just make it bigger Yeah, so lookup table, it's like a, a, a subroutine where you can define it within the, your main program and this subroutine basically defines the, the, the array elements. Here's a, it shows how it works. Basically, we have a main program and we call the subroutine called, for example, called table which define our elements for example this array has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 elements so two things you need to remember that the structure of the lookup table is always fixed so the first statement will be the add wf pcl pcl is a register defined within data memory i'll show you where it exists and basically we add the W value of the W with the BCL and the value of the BCL the value of the W basically it's it defines where uh, which index what's the index of your value so uh, for example if w is equal 0 uh, it will show the 23 if the w is equal 1 it will show 3f and as you notice that each line each instructions here has a return lw so it would return the value of 23 into the w back to the main point so this is the lookup table and let me show you where the main uh, PCL exists in the big mic controller. Here we have the P16F84A. Let me just get back. It should be somewhere around here. Yeah, so this is the one. Let's zoom it a little bit. Let's make it 130. All right, so this is the PCL. It's at address 02 hexa and it exists in each bank of the data memory. This is, this is uh, the uh, data memory of the uh, big microcontroller 16F84A. How it works, let me just show you how it works by giving an example. So here we have the MP lab. Let's create a new project. Next. Let me select the P16 F8778. Yeah. Next simulator. Next. So let me call it lookup. Look up the score table. It already exists. Maybe I do it before. So let's make PBL. So this is my lookup table. All right. Now I need to create a source file. Uh, lookup table. Okay. So let me just put what I need to create an array let's call it AR 
which has eight values zero comma three comma five comma seven five comma nine comma eleven zero one two three four five six and thirteen and seventeen so I have an array of uh, which has eight values one two three four five six seven eight all right and I, I need to create uh, this array in, in my big microcontroller assembly language let's start doing that so I need first to include v16 f 877a dot ink then I have org 0 0 and let me have an uh, a subroutine called I call it array and the subroutine will the only thing it will do it will add w add wf ECL and then we return LW zero return LW so we need to type all the values at the top return LW And return LW, return LW, 13, and the last value is return LW of 17. All right, so this is my lookup table, which con which contains the value of the array. Now in the main program, let's say I need to display these values in port B. As an example, or well, let's say we add three, then we display it into port B. Uh, let's do bank select, uh, press B, then we need to make press B as an output. Then we go to the main program, to the, sorry, the bank one, bank select. And we need to define a variable for a C block here C block zero X seventy and C and NC and this NC is just a C one constant one now we need to move lw decimal zero we need to initialize c1 so move w f c1 all right then we need to call the array all right so just remember what I need to do I initialize W then I move the value of W onto C1 then I will call the array now I need to make a loop loop and go to 
blue. So when I, when I, when I call the array, the, the W will contain the, the number and I need to add it, add LW, let's say I need to add a number 10. This is an example. Then I need to move WF to port B. Okay, so what I'm doing in this loop is basically is moving. Let me just put this here at the for the loop. I'm calling the array and will to return the value to the W, let's say to return the value 0 then I will add this value to 10 and then I will display it to port B but before doing that I also will, I need to increment increment F uh, C1 I need to increment FC1 and move F increment C1 and I need to move move F C1 to W but I need to keep up adding uh, increment in the W by incrementing C1. So C1 will start with 0, then it will be incremented by 1, and this value will be moved to W. Alright, so I need also to check bit, uh, bit test file skip with set C1. I need to check a certain bit in uh, C1. What do I need to check is after I finish reading the eight numbers, I should quit from the loop. Eight numbers means it should be like zero 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 one zero zero zero. So this is the eight. If I reach to eight, I will. But I will miss one of the numbers so let's me give it let's give it try that so basically I need to check bit number zero one two three I need to check bit number three let's see one so this is how it goes I need to read from the array add 10 and display it into port B then increment C1 and check if bit uh, of the if bit number three of C1 is become one I will exit the loop However, I think we will miss uh, the last number in the lookup table. Let me just build the program. Looks good, no problems. Close the stopwatch. And here we need to delete all. And let's see what do we need to show. We need to show. Uh, the W register first of all and we need to show the port P alright and let's run the program pause for a sec Okay, so now initially port B. Okay, I need to probably need to clear port B. No, I don't need to clear it. Let me just clear port B every time. Uh, clear port B. Just make sure that every time I add a new value to port B, it port B initially is zero. Oh, 
All right. Now let's just do the execution. So I'm clearing trace. Now I define it. Now C is become zero. Clearing port B. See, I'm moving them. Then I'm calling the array now. So the first value of W to be zero. Then it will return back. Add it at ten to W and display it to port B. Increment and check if C1 uh, bit number three. If C1 is becomes one. If it's not, it will continue. It will clear port B again and it will move the value of c1 to w so that we will read the next line 5 it will be now 15 also 3 it will be 13 and here, here we go so the next value is 5 5 plus 10 it's 15 the next value is 7 7 plus 10 is 17. This is how it works. Okay. So this is one of the ways of using or defining arrays in uh, big microcontrollers. So if you have a lot of numbers, which you do, you do the same operation for them, you probably need to define them in array using a lookup table. Uh, probably in the in the next slide I will show you how to do it another way there is uh, 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 what we call it indirect addressing where we use two registers one is called uh, file select register FSR and NDF register these two registers we can use them also to create arrays and big microcontrollers that's it for today thank you very much